In this lesson, I'll be demonstrating the functionality that an integration provides. An integration allows eShip to copy order data, such as contact and address information, from your software in order to let you quickly and easily create shipping labels without any additional typing. In the case of e-commerce applications, eShip is also able to close the order automatically after a shipping label is created and add the tracking number to the order in your system. I'll quickly set up an integration, then I'll show you how to import and process orders. In this example, I'll be using WooCommerce. First, go to Settings, then click Integrations, and then click Add a new integration. Here you'll see a list of all products that eShip can integrate with out of the box. If your product does not appear on this list, please see our support pages for advice on how to set up a custom integration. I want to integrate WooCommerce, so I'll click the link here. To set up my integration with WooCommerce, I'll just need to copy a few details from my WooCommerce website. First things first, tick Enable WooCommerce. Next, we'll grab the store URL. I have the website open in this tab here. So I'll just copy and paste it. Next, I need the consumer key. This can be obtained by creating an API key in the WooCommerce settings. Settings, API, keys, add a key. I'm just going to call it eShip and make sure it has read write permissions. Copy the consumer key, paste it into eShip, and then again copy the consumer secret and paste it into eShip. I can also specify which status an order must be at before eShip can import it. The processing status is ideal in this case. It's the status that is applied in WooCommerce when an order has been paid for, so I'm going to leave it as default. I can also leave all the other options as default. Okay, now WooCommerce is integrated. What's next? There are a couple of options we'll need to choose from. First, the Update Orders on Dispatch option. With this option turned off, eShip will update an order in your software as soon as you print a label for it updating the order status and adding the tracking number to the order information. This is typically the ideal way to use this feature. If I tick this option on, I'll need to manually trigger the order update by using the dispatch order action. I'm going to leave this off for now. The second option to configure is the auto import option. When this option is turned off, orders will only be imported when you click the import button on the orders page. With the setting on, orders are imported as soon as they reach the desired order status. Now let's go to the orders page. At the moment, I have no orders in eShip. However, if I look at my WooCommerce store and check for orders at the processing status, here are a couple of old ones that are waiting to be imported. I can use the import button to import these immediately. Just click import and then you can either choose import all to import orders from all of the products you've integrated with or import option to select specific products to import orders from. I'm just going to choose import all. There we go, now the two orders are in the system. Let's create a brand new order in the shop that I've created so you can see how the orders flow through the system. Here's my demo shop. I'm going to order myself some eShip headphones. Luckily for me, they seem to be on special today. My address details are already here, so I just need to hit place order. It's also worth noting in this section that the shipping option that's being provided by WooCommerce in this case is called free shipping. eShip is actually able to import this text and you're able to do a few things with it, such as creating rules to automatically assign a courier service when a specific shipping method is selected. Let's place the order. Cool, the order's in the system. Next, let's move over to the back end of the WooCommerce website and refresh the page. 
my new order has appeared at the top of the screen here. If we open the order, we can see that the order status is at processing. That means it should have imported into eShip by now. If I refresh the page in eShip, I can see that the order has now appeared. Okay, let's see what information has been copied over from WooCommerce. Let's open an order. First, the order number has automatically been copied from WooCommerce. This will be printed on the label and this value will be visible on any invoices and reporting sent to me by New Zealand Post. Over on the right, we can see that the order was imported from WooCommerce. This is helpful if you're running multiple integrations and want to keep them separate. And finally, we can see the free shipping option is at the top right. If you're using this manually, this can serve as a reminder to the user that they need to do something different. I'll now expand the address details. As you can see, the customer's contact and address details have been successfully imported from WooCommerce. Moving down, we can see that the items section has been populated with both the title of the product, the SKU, the country of origin, and the weight. If I was doing an international shipment, these values would be used for customs declaration. In most cases, even with an integration, you'll still need to do these last few steps. Select the parcel and ensure that the dimensions and weight are correct, and select the courier service. However, it is worth noting that both of these steps can be automated if you provide enough information. For more information about that, check out the rules and automation section on the support pages. I'm happy with all these options, so I'm going to print the label. Now for the last step. eShipper is able to automatically update the order after printing. For e-commerce platforms, this means changing the status of the order to complete and updating the order with the tracking number. We can go back to WooCommerce and see the changes now. You can see in this section, the tracking URL has been added to the notes section of the order. We can also see that the order status is now completed. In this way, eShip removes a lot of manual steps from the process. As you can see, integrating eShip with your software can be a great time saver, removing a lot of manual input and allowing for the benefits of automation features. That's all for this lesson. Thanks for watching.